it is important to view knowledge as sort of a semantic tree. Make sure you understand the fundamental principles, i.e. the trunk and big branches, before you get into the leaves details or there is nothing for them to hang on to. When something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. My proceeds from the PayPal acquisition were $180 million. I put $100 million in SpaceX, $70 million in Tesla, and $10 million in Solar City. I had to borrow money for rent. I think it's very important to have a feedback loop where you're constantly thinking about what you've done and how you could be doing it better. You should take the approach that you're wrong. Your goal is to be less wrong. You get paid in direct proportion to the difficulty of problems you solve. It is possible for ordinary people to choose to be extraordinary. I think it would be great to be born on Earth and die on Mars. Just hopefully not at the point of impact. Constantly seek criticism. A well-thought-out critique of whatever you're doing is as valuable as gold. No, I don't ever give up. I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. I'm not trying to be anyone's savior. I'm just trying to think about the future and not be sad. The first step is to establish that something is possible then probability will occur. Any product that needs a manual to work is broken. The idea of lying on a beach as my main thing just sounds like the worst. It sounds horrible to me. I would go bonkers. I would have to be on serious drugs. I'd be super duper bored. I like high intensity. I came to the conclusion that we should aspire to increase the scope and scale of human consciousness in order to better understand what questions to ask. Really. The only thing that makes sense is to strive for greater collective enlightenment. I take the position that I'm always to some degree wrong, and the aspiration is to be less wrong. One of the really tough things is figuring out what questions to ask. Once you figure out the question, then the answer is relatively easy. Constantly think about how you could be doing things better. One of the biggest mistakes we made was trying to automate things that are super easy for a person to do, but super hard for a robot to do. I could go and buy one of the islands in the Bahamas and turn it into my personal fiefdom, but I am much more interested in trying to build in, create a new company. Every person in your company is a vector. Your progress is determined by the sum of all vectors.